Hi family and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can refresh your space for spring. We all know spring is already here even though the weather is not feeling like spring <laughs> especially here in georgia we're in what going to the end of april and it's still cold so it's not freezing cold but it's still like chilly in the mornings very chilly like we're still hitting like um 60s and stuff like that that's not normal for us okay so what we're going to discuss today is how you can get your space ready for spring and how you can do that on a budget and how you can do that before you hit the streets and go to Home Goods, go to Ross, Burlington, um, Kirkland's. Before you go anywhere, watch this video in its entirety and you just might save some coin. Jack Essential Candles, a luxury candle line made just for you. Enjoy our first ever collection, the BVI Collection. Hand-picked and custom name just for the BVI. Also, enjoy our signature line. Visit our website today and see what other goodies we have in store for you. We are Black-owned and we are proud of it. Okay guys, so the first thing you would want to do is you want to determine what spaces you're going to refresh for the spring. Well, my advice to you would be to use spaces that are visible to guests, spaces that you use a lot, um, and not, you know, spaces that you probably don't even go in there that often. So do not refresh your entire home because most likely I don't think you're going to be using like your entire home like that. But you want to do spaces like maybe your living room. Definitely. Um, it's, most times living rooms are at an entry point into the home. Or your kitchen is your entry point to your home. And then your living room. So those would be like the main spaces that you want to do. Your living room. Your kitchen. A little refresh in your dining room. Your master bedroom. Which would include your um, master bathroom as well, and your powder room. So those are the spaces you kind of want to definitely try to touch somewhat, somehow, okay? So let's go through the different things that you can do that would affect these spaces. And we want to ensure that you are, what I always say, shopping your home first. Let's shop your home first before you do anything else. Okay, so one of the easiest ways that you can do to refresh a space is that you can change out your accent pillows. Now, you don't have to go and buy new accent pillows. What you can do is you can take accent pillows from one space and put it into another space and it will refresh that space for you. If it's not the colors that you're looking for, maybe you would already have um, accent pillows that you have used before, go check and see what you have. See what colors you have. If these colors are the colors that are going now for spring, um, or, you know, green, like you want to bring those type of colors into your space and see if you already have these items. And that is an easy fix. Another easy fix that you can use is if you have artwork, you can switch your artwork out from one room to the other once the scale matches remember scale i did a video on scale before so remember every time in de interior design is a, one of our biggest focus is scale scale in a space if a piece is too small or it's too large for a space scale 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 so if you're going to be moving around artwork in a space make sure that the scale is going to go with the space that you're using 
Another easy way to update artwork is if you can um, de like take off the back end off the artwork and change out the, the picture that's in there. If you want to bring color into the space, consider stuff like if you go to Target and you go in the gift paper area, maybe they may have a gift paper in there that have like these different color leaves or whatever in it. You can use that, put it in there because you only want it for spring, right? Or if you have extra wallpaper like me, I always have a lot of wallpaper and I have a lot of wallpaper because of my job and I get a lot of samples. So you can use that to update um, artwork. You don't have to get rid of the original art that was there, but you can cover it. If it's one of those big pieces, canvas pieces that you buy, if it's big enough where you can cover it with the new, get a piece of um, gift paper or uh, wall covering, wallpaper or whatever, and you want to cover that and keep the original intact because you still like the original, that's another easy and simple way that you can update your space by updating your artwork and updating your throw pillows. Another way that you can update your space on a budget is you can switch your rugs. Switch your rugs from one room to the other. If they're the same size, like, or the same colors, you can switch those out. That's another way that you can do it. Sometimes, like for me, when I purchase the rug that I purchased for my living room, I purchased it with the intent that it would work for all four seasons for me. I don't have to change this rug out for all four seasons. For Christmas, it has the, the, the um, burgundies and a little bit of reds and so forth in there. For um, springtime, it has hints of um, the same hints of the blues, hints of greens, the, um, the vanilla, the ivory colors. Um, for like summer going into fall, it has the brown colors in it. So it have multiple colors in there, a little bit of gray here and there, warm colors. So it has a lot of colors in there and the, it's an all season rug. That was intentional what I selected. Will this work for me all season? Why? It was a huge purchase and it's a huge piece. It's a very large rug. However... What you can do is you can switch rugs from room to room and that would help you to update that space. When One thing with rugs, when you move it from one room to the next, once it's the right scale and the colors work, when you move it from one, it makes the space look brand new. Brand new. So that is another easy fix that you can do is to change your rugs out from one space to the other space. Another big, big, big thing that I think works perfectly for spring is to add plants to your space. Buy some plants. You can get plants at Home Depot. You can get plants, plants at your local grocery stores, um, Walmart. Like there's so many different places you can get plants. Try to use a couple um, real plants. I have started to use real plants in my home. I didn't used to use them before because they used to always die. Now I found out why my plants were dying. It's because when you purchase them, they're in a training pot. You need to remove them out the training pot and replant them. Now I know. <laughs> so that is a big way. Like I, my plants, are blooming in my home and I just love to see them now before I used to be looking yep yeah, some yellow leaves are about to come plants add some plants into your space plants is going to bring color and life into our space spring is all about everything we regenerating everything coming back to life that's what spring is about when the trees outside had looked kind of dead now they're coming back to life so that's what you're doing you're bringing your space to life uh, the best way to do that is to put plants in your space you don't have to put a lot of plants if you don't want to if you're not a person who's going to take care of plants but what you can do is put some kind of plant into your space, it's going to bring color into your space. And I'm gonna tell you one thing about green on a tree. It matches with everything for some reason. You can take green and put it with something else 
like green, like saying clothing and be like, that don't match. But for some reason, the green on a tree works with every color. Bring plants into your space and that would help to up, to uplift your space, to give your space life and to refresh your space for the spring. Okay. The next thing that you can do to update your space is that you can update your window treatment. Uh, if you don't have window treatment, but you've always been thinking about it, add some window treatment just for the spring. Keep the window treatment very light in color. Remember I said spring is all about bringing back life and nothing brings back life about when you have, when something is nice, light and bright and airy. That's what light um, window treatment will do to a space. Okay. So that's what you want to do. Add some window treatment. You don't have to go out there and buy window treatment. The quickest way to add window treatment is to use ready-made curtains, ready-made curtains to hang on your window. And that will be inexpensive. Now I am pretty sure that you have window treatments that you can swap in rooms. If you have window treatments that maybe you can take them out of your master bedroom, bring them down to your living room or take the ones from the living room, take them up to the mat, swap your drapery out. And that is an easy fix. Stop always thinking I have to run out to the store. I have to jump on Amazon and order window treatments because I want to do a refresh of my space. You do not have to always go and purchase to refresh. Shop your home use what you have to refresh your space for the spring the sixth thing that you can do in your space to update your space for the spring is that you can switch out your lighting okay i have these lamps here i love these lamps because they're very minimal they have a glass tube and then you see the metal, the, the metal going down the middle, and then it has blue um, shade. The shade is blue. Now, because I love these and I like the hint of brassy gold that they carry, I would not want to switch these. I think they can work throughout. But if I do want to do something, all I have to do is I have to change, is I can change out the blue shade and just change the shade. That will make it look like it's a whole new lamp. Now, do I have extra shades sitting, waiting to do that? Uh, no. So am I going to do it? Maybe not because I think that this will still work for the spring. But it is an idea. Change out your lighting. Maybe I can take my, um, mm, I can take the lamps that I've had on my nightstand in my room for about five to four years now. I've never changed those out. Maybe I can just change those, bring those downstairs and take these upstairs because those still have that brassy color that I'm talking about. That's another way that I can uplift my master bedroom and I can uplift right here. Okay? So switch around your lighting in your home and it will refresh that space for you. Another easy way that you can refresh your space, especially in your kitchen, is you can, number one, let's declutter those countertops. Countertops are prime real estate, okay? You do not want to have too much stuff on your countertops. We have a lot of big appliances, but are you using those on a daily or even weekly basis? If not, put them away. Let's clean our countertops in our kitchens for the spring. We like to do spring cleaning. Let's spring clean our countertops. Let's get rid of all the big appliances that you are not using on a daily basis. Let's get rid of all the bread. Let's get rid of um, the conflicts or snacks or whatever you have sitting on your countertop. Put them away. Clear up your countertop. Get rid of, I'm pretty, I hope in this day and age, I don't want to say this, please don't get offended if you, I'm sorry, but I'm praying that you don't have sitting 
on your countertop um, a dish drainer. If you have a dish drainer and that's what you need, I guess it's it's okay. But if you have an option to wash your dishes, dry them, put the dishes away, put the drain away, let's do that. Let's see how that works for you. But um, yeah, get rid of the dish drainers on your countertops. Now, I know my people from the islands are going to say, oh, that's easy for you to say because you have a dishwasher. Okay, fine. When I was living in the islands, I hated to see stuff on my countertop. So uh, my dish drainer was a little small one, just enough to hold the plates. And I used to make when them kids wash them dishes. They knew after those dishes dried, they had to put those dishes away. And that dish drainer needed to fold up. Okay? So, no excuses, guys. If you want your space to look clean and plush, let's get rid of the stuff on top of your countertop. That's one of the big ways. But another way to bring in the spring and the beauty into your space is to add, like, say, bowls of fruits. What about if you add a nice bowl with some lemons in it? What color are lemons? Yellow. Yellow is one of the most springy colors ever. Add lemons in a bowl on your countertop. It's going to bring color into the space. It's going to brighten up the space and you will be amazed. Go to the grocery store. Get some um, yellow lilies or some yellow roses. Create a little bouquet in a little vignette. Um, we use these words, and sometimes people don't know what these words mean, but uh, a vignette is when you create a setting, and that setting is going to be like, say, a focal point. Like when you look at it, it has interesting pieces on it that you want to keep looking, and your eyes is traveling to different interesting pieces. It's called a vignette. So it's like you just decorate that one little area on its own, okay? So, so add some fruits to your space. And different color fruits to the space that will bring color into your space. Another way that you can um, uplift our space for the spring on a budget is, let me draw a reference. If you have a pretty dark space, right? So your dark space meaning you have dark walls, you have dark furniture pieces. Now you can have a light chair, but maybe these are dark. Those are still furniture. So you have dark furniture pieces and then you have a dark floor. Let's change out the dark. Maybe the rug might be the easier thing for you to change. Put a really light color rug into the space and it would help to balance out the colors in the room. Meaning it's going to balance out the shadows in the room. It's going to balance the light better in the room because the dark walls are going to suck up all of your light. So one way that you can uplift that space is to put something light on the floor, a lighter color on the floor, because you have your dark walls that you're so in love with, you so don't want to change, or it's going to cost too much to change, or that's not in the budget right now, or that's not what I want to do right now. You can change out the flooring. So if you change out the rug, then you can lighten up the space. The light in the space will bounce better. So that's another easy way to upgrade uh or yeah, update, upgrade a uh, dark space. The last and final thing that I'm going to tell you you can do to update a space is accessories. Accessories is one of the quickest and easiest way to update the space. Okay? So, accessories, for people who don't know, some people don't know, guys, don't think that I am treating you like your kids, but they're really people that don't know. Okay, accessories are like what you see on my shelves. Accessories is anything that you use, any items, knickknacks that you use to decorate or enhance or to like fill up. So you have shelves and you put stuff on the shelf. Even if it's a picture frame, that is still an accessory. If a jar, it's still an accessory. If it's a box, it's still an accessory. You're using it to accessorize that space, that shelf, whatever it is, 
Okay, so that those are that's what accessories are. So one of the quickest, easiest way to update a space is to do it with accessories. Now, if you have accessories in your house, you can take something from maybe your bedroom to put it down in the living room, stuff from the living room up into the bedroom. I have all these shelves and I have them on both sides. What I can do if I wanted to make this look really different is I can start switching some of the pieces because I do not have them symmetrical. What I have going on over here does not necessarily happen over there. So there are pieces that I can move from over there, bring over here. What I can do also is I can take my shelves and I can put them on different levels, right? Each shelf have three different heights that I can put them. I can switch up the heights. All of that is going to change up the way that piece looks and it's going to bring some kind of different interest to the piece according to, um, you know, how you do it. So that's one of the quickest, easiest way that you can update your shelving in your house by using accessory. You can update your coffee table. Like I showed you guys in my previous video, um, where I showed my sectional, how I accessorized my coffee table. Okay. So that is one of the easiest, easiest way that you can update your space is using accessories. It's quick. It's easy. And I'm pretty sure you have stuff in your home that you can swap from one room to the other to help that happen or stuff that you may have put away. Go look at the stuff that you put away. Maybe you took stuff down for Christmas and you put them away. Maybe you took stuff down from Thanksgiving and you put them away. Maybe some of those things that you put away can work in other seasons as well. Or you can accessorize them or place them differently so that they can work in this season. Make your pieces work for you. Don't work for your pieces. Meaning don't go work at nine to, nine to five because you need that money to go buy those pieces. Let the pieces that you have work for you. Okay, so guys, I hope that these little tips that I just gave you, gave you guys a lot of ideas on how you can go and start to update your spaces for spring, get your home ready for spring if you have not already done so, but always remember before you get your space ready for spring, the first thing you should be doing is what? Back out, go to the comment section, write it in for me. What is the first thing that you need to do when you're getting your space ready for spring? I'm going to wait while you come back. You back? Okay. You have to do spring cleaning. <laughs> I know. I'm so silly, right? You have to do spring cleaning. Before you go putting draperies up on the on the um new draperies up or switching out draperies, you gotta clean them windows. You gotta wipe down. You gotta get wipe down your baseboards, like wipe down your walls. You have to do spring cleaning. Before you start switching stuff up, it's a, the, the space is still going to feel heavy. The air is going to feel heavy. The atmosphere is going to feel very heavy in the space. You have to do spring cleaning. That's one of the easiest, <laughs> less expensive way to update your space for spring. Okay? So, on that last tip... <laughs> I am going to say bye. I hope you guys got a lot of ideas out of this video. And I hope you guys go and update your spaces after listening to everything that I just said. Okay? And believe you me, I practice what I preach. I will see you guys on my next one. Shalom. She said she running away She said she can't take it no more, no